this hole uh, 12 years ago, um, they encountered a, a pressurized reservoir and uh, they realized this wasn't something that was going to be short-lived. And I think it was after a day, approximately a day, that the hole had been opened and just screaming out this, this gas. Um, I was called up to see if I could shed any light on how they might be able to to cap this hole or to, to seal up this hole. It sounded like the back end of a jet engine. And when you got out of your truck, it was this, what's that, what's that noise? You know, on my first visit before I knew what it was, nobody had said, oh yeah, we got this hole that's blowing. They just said, we got something I think you need to come out and look at and see if you can help us out with. And, and getting out of the truck, whatever, some, you know, 100 yards away, a couple hundred yards, whatever it was, you just, there was this din in the background that was pretty bizarre sounding. And the closer you got, the louder it got until this thing was, you know, right in front of you screaming. And so all I could do at the time was try and determine what is the minimum pressure that they have to overcome in order to seal this off. This potentially has, you know, real merit. And, uh, and that's just, uh, I, I can't tell you how exciting that is for me as somebody who's been a you know, professional in the overall industry for you know, way too many years. Um, it's just, uh, these are, are great times here in Northeast Minnesota and the drilling of Jetstream 1, I think it is that you're calling it on the Topaz project is, it's extraordinarily um, exciting times for me personally. and for anyone that's got any sense at all in this area.